why baseball may be the most boring sport in America. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Sportstastic. Here's why baseball may be the most boring sport in America. Top 10, Crazy Fields. Don't you hate how the Raiders field is 10 yards longer and 5 yards wider than the Niners field? Oh, never mind. They're the exact same dimensions. Same with basketball and hockey. But for some reason, baseball fields feel like they can make up their own damn rules. Golf courses are different. We should make baseball fields like golf courses. So we get fields like Minute Maid Park that slope up and have a pole in the field to play and Fenway Park, whose dimensions indicate whoever designed the outfield fence was drunk. It's like if Normandale went out to measure the hoop in the Hoosiers and was like, how far is the free throw line? 16 feet? Hmm, ours is only 15. Sorry guys, everything is different here. We're screwed. Number 9, baseball fans are annoying. Only 38 days till pitchers and catchers report. Go away. And why are you in my room in the first place? It's 3 in the morning. Baseball happens basically all year long. Is there really a need to count down during that wonderfully brief period of time when there isn't any baseball? Number 8, stat heads are even more annoying. I'm not anti-statistics, so please put back your torches and pitchforks. I'll admit that the old coggers of the baseball world who act like advanced stats are a newfangled bunch of poppycock are the worst. It's great that we measure the game in new and interesting ways, but do you have to be so smug about it? The moment anybody complains about advanced stats, you all sound that the stat signal and converge upon whatever poor soul said he thought Miguel Cabrera should have won the MVP over Mike Trout. I get that things like VORP are great, but I'd be even greater if you could stop beating us over the head with it. Number 7, there are too many games. 162 games are too many games. Do you know how exceedingly difficult it is to care about a game when there are 161 other ones? People say the NBA season is too long, but the baseball season is almost twice as long. You cannot care about baseball for half the season and then start paying attention when it matters. That's what the A's did last year. Number 6, the designated hitter. Even ignoring how incredibly stupid it is that the National and American Leagues have different rules for the same sport, the DH rule is terrible. Maybe the NFL should adopt an all-time quarterback rule, with one guy playing quarterback for both teams. Number 5, no replay where it matters. Yes, baseball has replays on home runs now. Congratulations, it's 5% there. Now if only baseball would get with the 21st century and allow replays for blown calls like Jim Joyce's ruining a perfect game or help regulate strike zones instead of leaving it up to umpires who are trying to end the game because they're tired. We have the technology to make it fast and easy, the NFL handles it well, and the NBA even got into that action. Maybe if it wasn't so insistent on being a dinosaur, baseball would figure that out too. Number 4, no YouTube clips. Sports are social now. If I'm not watching the game, but DeAndre Jordan destroys Brandon Knight and it's all over Twitter, I can see a replay of it pretty much immediately. But not with the MLB, oh no. They have a team of YouTube assassins ready to pull down any clip that somebody may dare to post. Fan makes a crazy catch in the crowd? Better wait for MLB.com to get their own video of it. Because if it shows even a second of game time, they're going to yank any unauthorized versions from the internet. A great way to gain new fans for a sport whose fans are dying off faster than AOL subscribers. Number 3 PEDs If I never hear about PEDs again, it'll be too soon. Who is taking PEDs? Should we let them into the Hall of Fame if we think they took PEDs? Should we wipe their records from the books if they took PEDs? How much do PEDs really help anyways? PEDs, PEDs, PEDs. I no longer have the ability to care anymore. Use whatever you want, just for the love of God please stop talking about it. Number 2 Hall of Fame voting is stupid. Riders don't vote for players because of personal grudges. They don't vote for players in it to make a statement. They don't vote players in because they, though they feel they're worthy, they're not first ballot worthy. It's really stupid. Number one, it's not really the worst. The worst part about baseball is that it's not really the worst. Despite the many, many, many faults I've laid out, it's still kind of great. I love the experience of going to a game, being outside and drinking a cold beer on a hot day with baseball, basically being a nice background. I love the unwritten rules and nobody pitches like Dallas Braden screaming at A-Rod for breaking one of them and crossing his mound. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also watch the next two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.